What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing HK Audio's Polar 12. Stay tuned. Now please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content so I can keep making videos for you guys, alright? Now I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while now and because of Long and McQuaid, I was able to rent one out and try it at a few various events just to see if I would make the change from point source speaker to a calm array. Now this thing towers when put all together. It stands at about 7.1 feet, weighs in at about 61.7 pounds or 28 kilograms. Now this system has three parts to it. The subwoofer system, the spacer, and the mid-high unit where all the voice coils are. So what's cool about this system is that you can actually take out the spacer and just connect the highs to the sub so you have a lower level of sound. So just in case uh, you're on an elevated surface and then the crowd is lower, you have that freedom. Now the sub is a legit 12 inch sub and it has a 2.5 inch voice coil. Now the spacer is literally hollow and it's just a vessel for the sound to pass through so it can get to the mids and highs which is the important part. It's nice and high so it can get over people's heads so it can throw a lot further which is ideal for a speaker. So it has a one inch high frequency driver with a one inch voice coil. It has six, count them, six, three inch mid speakers with a three quarter inch voice coil. So a lot going on up there. So of course all the guts and stuff are at the top. It weighs about 8.8 .8 pounds and the spacer literally is half of that, like 4.4 .4 pounds, right? Only makes sense. Now the max SPL on this system is 127 decibels. It has a class D bi -amped amplifier and the power output on this is 2000 watts. So just like a lot of other systems, this system has a limiter and will only reach a certain output once you hit it. Just to protect the system, it won't go past that volume or output. Now where this system shines is actually the digital display on the sub which is the mixer section, it's a full-blown mixer section and it has so many different features. It has Bluetooth 5.0 and that's the newest Bluetooth and you can get the most reliability with it and the extended range as well. There's three bands, semi-parametric EQing that you can control. There are also different user presets that you can save and use them when you need to. It also has three different modes. It has a music mode, a voice mode, and of course a DJ mode. It even has a function where you can delay the sound of the system depending if you have different speakers in different areas just so that they match, right? It's a little over my head and I haven't used it yet so um, that's really a cool function. So it has a four channel mixer with the first two channels being combi jacks XLR and uh, quarter inch and you can also change it from line to mic level as well. The third channel is a dedicated instrument channel so for guitars, keyboardists, it only takes quarter inch. The fourth channel is the Bluetooth channel or you can plug in a source through RCAs as well. At the bottom there is a mix out so you can actually daisy chain it with another sub or another speaker as well and it has a dedicated sub volume so you can change the volume of the sub independently. Now with all that being said this digital display in the back has a lot more stuff that you can play around with. A lot more specs as well that I didn't touch on and I'm going to try to put the specs on the screen right now so you can check it out and pause it at any time of this video. Okay guys, so I took this system out to a gig and I just to test it out, out in the field. So let's see how it did. Uh. 
All right, we're all ready to go again for day number six of Centennial's Convocation. All set up and ready to go. We're just waiting for the graduates to come out now out of their ceremony. I'm really loving this uh, HK Polar 12. It fills the whole courtyard. Amazing speaker. Let's go. So there you have it. What did you guys think? Not bad, right? So just keep in mind that space that I was playing into, I was just creating a vibe and um, not really getting them to dance, not really too loud. Background music so they can just chill. They're eating, they're taking pictures with their families and just celebrating, right? It would have been better with two, but I used it with one just to push it, see how well it will do. And it did okay. It was fine. It was great. I like the speaker. It definitely has its uses. Now, there are a few things that I like about the speaker. One being the sub is a legit 12 inch sub. Now, uh, you can turn it up and down independently, and I love that, and it really, really rumbles. When you're closer to it, you can really feel it. When you're further away, of course, obviously, it's gonna roll off, um, especially because I was just using one, but I like that it's a full-fledged subwoofer. Next thing that I like is that there's no tripping hazards. So because there's no tripods, it has a cleaner look as well, and of course, the liability issues are lessened, so that's amazing. Now, another thing that I like is that the mids and highs are really high. They're above people's heads, so the sound threw, especially in that space, the sound did throw really, really far. Although the bass was not really there, you could hear the sound, right? Even from very, very far, so that's great. And that's ideal for any DJ musician. Another plus is that the spacer you can take out and just use it on elevated surfaces. I'm glad that HK Audio thought about that. That's genius. I love that, that you can vary the height and the sound levels. Another thing that I liked about this system is that the highs and the mids are crystal clear. Um, you know, with other speakers, uh, once you start pushing them, they sound very sharp and just uh, it hurts your ears not with this it's really clear it's loud but clear now of course once you start limiting it the sound degradation uh, it, it starts to distort and stuff like that but overall the sound is just nice and round and full that's what I love about this system now I was just using one Imagine if you had two, a pair, you can easily do a 200, pushing maybe 250 person wedding. So it definitely competes with other column arrays out in the market right now. And at an amazing price point as well. Now at the time of shooting this video, this system costs $1,230. So that equates to $1,180. US a great value compared to a lot of other column arrays out in the market today Okay, with all those things that I love about this speaker and I do love this speaker I do have a few cons. I gotta be honest with you guys. This is what I do. The first thing is there's no reverb on the actual speaker on the mixer section I would have appreciated it if they put reverb or some type of effect um, other than those modes there is nothing uh, that you can change. Like if somebody needed to sing or do some needed reverb on their voice or something, you, you can't do it straight from, from the system. Yeah, that's one thing that I did not like that is lacking from the speaker. The next con that I have with the speaker is that you can't mount any lights on it. It doesn't have a bar to mount anything on it. I like to mount lights under my speaker on a clamp. That's what I like to do personally for a lot of my gigs. So I found it hard to justify switching over to this calm array. Yeah, I can always bring another extra tripod light for it to bring those lights, but that's just another thing to bring. So those are my cons for this speaker. I do like the speaker overall, but I don't think I'm gonna be switching over from uh, point source speakers to column arrays just yet but it does have its uses 
that's it. Now, if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe down below so I can keep making videos, okay guys? I hope you guys like this review. If you guys wanna talk about anything, comment. Wanna know anything about the speaker? If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below and we can talk about it, all right? I'll try to answer every one of your questions. This is DJ9 signing off. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Peace.